A couple days ago we released Immortals Progressive Island, which is an entire video game inside Rocket League, and was a project that took 6 months and over 1200 hours of design to come to life. Since the release on Monday, we've put out 4 major hotfixes to address as many bugs and improvements as we can. As promised, today I'm going to show you guys a full campaign run from start to finish, and explain some of the background of how the levels and areas came together. Version 1.4 added a lot of features and quality of life updates, so let me take you through the story all in one go. Hope you guys enjoy. All right, here we are. So we've got the intro clip. I showed this in the first video, but you basically start off in a ball ship of some sort and you are traveling into hyperdrive in space. This scene was really cool to set up. Shark did a really good job with all of the animations. Um, and this is actually an endless loop that will wait until you jump. It just does like a little animation of the uh, the title of the map. And, uh, and then it sets up a little story for what your mission is. So I'm gonna press jump to approach. And the second I do that, a screen's gonna pop up and give us a little bit of inform information. So let's do that. Here it is. We're on the LSS Progress, ship class Immortals. The mission is a sample collection. And you can see that the date that I recorded this was yesterday or two days ago, I guess, from the video. And it actually has the real time. It's around seven o'clock. Um, also has my name and my my island rank, which is bronze at the moment. And uh, we're going to Ipi Nua, which is the Immortals Progressive Island. Uh, sector is 68 plus one. Shark wanted to make it 69. I said it's a little bit off the tongue, so made it 68 plus one. Here we are. We're going to the planet. And uh, unfortunately, a Moai comes out of nowhere and knocks us out of orbit. We're crashing. And here we are. We actually changed this to nighttime now. It's really, really cool. In the latest version, we added a night mode. Um, the intro clip actually plays night, which is super, super clean looking. Uh, we've got all these different zones. I'm super excited to go through the whole campaign. Probably just start to finish. We'll just run through the whole thing. Um, and now we have the planet receiving our ball on fire. And it explodes. Super cool intro. That was super fun to put together. And here it is. Welcome to Immortal Progressive Island. There are 32 t total levels you can complete, starting at a bronze difficulty and ending with levels designed for SSLs. Each level is designed to improve your skills as a player in some way. You must collect all five Ps from each level in order to progress. You can only access the race course in each zone once you have enough Ps. You can then enter the zone once you have all five Ps from the race course. And the zone ranks are based on difficulty related to other levels and not directly related to in-game ranks. That's actually one of the things we added uh, in this starting screen here. Because I've a lot, had a lot of complaints about the, the, the difficulty levels. But we want it to be interesting and also challenging. So they are a little bit harder than the ranks. Trust me, we're not out of touch. We know people suck. <laughs> all right. Each level will have a time limit. You, have to, you must collect all five Ps and reach the finish line before the time runs out. If you ever get lost, look for the challenge icons. Feel free to explore the island as there are lots of secrets. Um, I'm not going to show all the secrets today. Um, I'm actually going to just go through the main campaign and maybe in the future we'll do some sort of like scavenger hunt or show all the little secrets and reveal all the things. Uh, some of them I might never show. I I'm, I'm still deciding. Uh, as you can see, we've we've added a couple extra screens from the earlier ones. We have a special thanks to all of the people who play tested. A uh, special shout out to Adam Beckwith from Psionics or now Epic Games. Uh, who had a couple calls with us to help basically reduce the strain on a lot of PCs. We did a lot of testing. Um, and of course, we've added a couple extra screens. We have day and night mode, which uh, this is one of my favorite features. You just press power slide. And now it is nighttime. So I think what I'll do is for the first four zones, I'm going to use daytime, which I mean, one of them is underground. So it doesn't really matter. But you can see we have a lot of things like we can track the amount of time you're on the island, number of fails, a couple... Uh, a couple little secrets. So there's find all eight rock balls. I did show one of them in the uh, the first video. One of them is right here. So that will collect one of them. It doesn't say anything, but I did find one of them. There's one in each zone. Pretty cool. Let's start it off with the campaign here. We've got the saves. All right. So pretty basic level here. Just going to go for the, uh, the clears on each one of these. I don't know if anyone noticed this, but all of the moving balls are notified by a moving orange or an orange target uh spawner meanwhile any of the ones where the ball stays still the triggers are actually blue so it's really really cool little feature we added in this map also the sound and audio reception of scoring uh a ball is probably one of the biggest upgrades so you can see now we've collected all five p's and they are now lit white um that's one of the changes we made too is i think to make these a little bit darker so you don't really see them as well um, when you don't have them but now that's a no boost level. And I don't know if you noticed there, they, the, the colors actually just changed to bronze. Oops, I was just talking, but hopefully I can recover this. Um, we actually had to do like quite a bit of work to make the, the hexagons update colors. 
which is a nice change. So every level kind of feels closer to, like, related to the ranks. That's uh, number two. We have 10 Ps out of the 160 so far. We have one more to go for here, which is the shooting. Very similar to the saves level. This was one of the first, like, uh, sets of levels we built to show progressive. And they were super happy with how this looked. And we kind of built upon this on each, each zone. It made them a little more difficult. Uh, obviously, these ones are pretty trivial if you can just shoot towards target. But it is easy to miss if you don't focus. So I'm going to just focus on my shot here, forward, go around the corner. And we made most of the time limits pretty fair, I think. We haven't had any complaints about the time limits. A couple of them were glitched out, so unfortunately, uh, it did break on the first release in some spots. But we fixed all that. And uh, for the most part, all the glitches that we know about are uh, are fixed. So I'm really happy with how the map looks now. It's just one of the cleanest maps we've ever built. I don't know if we're ever going to top this one in a long time. Uh, and also, people have had like really good reception of uh, how Swigel's built these movement courses. They're really well integrated into the uh, the map. I don't know if you noticed there. We, there was actually a spot we could have cut across the trees. Speedrun speed run mode is really interesting too. I'm going to do a video on that later. Uh, but we actually made the requirement for speedrun mode only four out of the five Ps to collect. So a lot of these levels have like really, really interesting skips. It's really, really cool to see how people have already constructed a really, really cool path. Let's do uh, mechanics here first. We've had a lot of complaints about this level. I like it. I think it's, it is the right amount of difficulty. There's actually a path down to the left that I showed in the, uh, the trailer or release video. Um, but you don't need it. Just got to go through the, the main course here. Land here, get a little f uh, wave dash. There's We added a lot more boost to this level than there was originally. I think it's uh, a lot more fair now than it was. So it's pretty funny to see that people are complaining now about how these levels are pretty, uh, I don't know, exhausting to, to get used to. But I don't, I don't think it's that bad. You just got to get used to it. And once people get familiar with the levels, um, you do become more comfortable. Obviously, we know the levels. I know the levels, so I know what's coming up and I know what to do. Like, if you were to first try this, you wouldn't know to jump here before the shot come came out. I didn't miss, but um, I forgot that wasn't actually as fast. So, um, you just got to get used to the fact that, like, the levels will take a while to get used to and just become uh, comfortable with them. And once you know the levels a little better, they will get easier. So, it's always going to be a growing pain sort of thing with these maps, which we knew. And uh, we always wanted to be, like try to be one as fair as possible. Oh, I made it. Okay, we're good. 36 seconds is enough time. I should be good. Can I make it before the water though? We did make it. So we got one fail so far. Not horrible. We got one more zone, which is the shooting. I really love how this cave turned out. I, I designed all the, the cave elements. Super happy with it. This is actually a speed flip early if you want to. I don't know if we fixed it, but I think you can crossbar some of these, which I think is kind of funny. So whatever, we kept it in. And keep in mind, we, we let this be a kind of a gradual level here. You can you can be kind of like at a decent pace. You don't have to be too fast. Like I'm taking my time with the shots. Totally cool. Shark was super happy with this one. We do have one aerial, which I know for silvers would be pretty hard, but there we go. Clearing it, no problems. So that's all of the silver. Uh, challenges. We just got the movement course, which I did add a new post-process volume down here, which basically makes the lava zone look a little different as long as it works. I didn't test it. I just put it down here. Let's see. It should kind of blend us in in a second. There it is. So now we're in the lava zone. Wow, that looks sick. <laughs> this is my first time seeing it in game, by the way. I did not imagine it looking that good. I missed the boost pad. Shouldn't need it. If I can get one wave dash here. Nope. This is a pretty fair level, though, as far as, like, timers go, so should be okay. Holy, the lava looks sick. Okay, that was such a good decision. I'm super happy with how, how this looks. Um, we use this in a couple other places I can't talk about, so I, I when I do get to it, I'll mention it uh, in a future video. But there it is, coming out of the lava. That works so well. The transitions work really well, too. A lot of this I'm seeing for the first time. Um, because we changed a lot of the effects. Moving on to the gold point. This is the beach. Heading on down. Super cool how this looks on the way down here. All the broken rocks and the, the broken kind of track thing at the bottom there. 
It's just like, oh, it's so cool. I, I can't even believe this is a real map that we built. It is absurd. All right, so now we're on to the gold mechanics, which is about uh, the first rings course. I might fall here. Ooh, I might have used way too much boost. See if I can recover this. The middle rings are like a shortcut uh, in case you cut it nicely, and they do give a little bit less boost than the bigger rings. Um, I have not played these in a long time, by the way. I, it's been a while. Like, we tested these like rigorously for a while, but I have not like actually gone through it. I'm going pretty slow here, too. Let's see if I can do the secret. Perfect. Perfect. Go to the wall. Very nicely done. Not the greatest time, but we're getting it done. I will do a speedrun at some point, like I said, but I have not done any of the testing that the, the speedrunners have. They've done a lot of optimization on the paths for the other, like, routes for, like, four to five Ps sort of situation. Oh, boy. Uh-oh. It'll be pretty tough with 50 boost, but I can try. We're good. And then go really wide here for this one. Maybe too wide. We're good. Oh, my God. Go off the ramp here. Save my flip. Somehow hit that. The targets are pretty uh, pretty fair, pretty forgiving. Also just like a, a UE3 problem. Like, they are exactly the size of the target, but uh, they don't exactly line up. And we're okay with that. I think it's fair enough. The target's are already pretty small. We've got saves. Sorry, I'm going through this pretty quickly. I'm sorry it's maybe a little overwhelming. Um, but... Just kind of showing off all of the levels because I know that in the first video we didn't. Sh okay, I messed up. Uh, we didn't show all of the levels on purpose so people could go explore them for themselves. Ends up ended up that a lot of the creators didn't even watch my video, which I'm kind of upset about. I'm not upset. I just wish they would have seen it because they had a lot of questions and like they did a lot of things that like the video explained to them. So they didn't. They shouldn't have been that difficult uh, to follow what was happening, but all good. I'm actually really horrible. Okay, let's do this again. There we go. There we go. That's the better flip. You want to like flip it off to the side. There's a shot with the wall here. And that should be this level completed. Just got to rush to the side here and then follow up this ball. Woo! And there we go. All right, so that's all of the gold section done. We just got to do the movement course. And I really like this one, too. Um, I, I told Swaggles to like put a line of boost pads on the shipwreck, uh, which actually worked out super well. There's actually a bit of a cut you can do in the speedrun mode. I, I did see uh, a player by the name of Delcor, who's like really well known in the speedrunning community to like like basically blow away all of the competition in a lot of things. He just grinds these maps like crazy. But there's a the line of pads. And you can kind of use this boost to carry out the rest. Now, the thing is, there is one P right here uh, that you, have, you can collect, or you have to collect in the main uh, campaign. But this is the one they skip, and it actually you can skip this entire section. Even climb up here real quick, because the next P is right here. Yeah, right here. So you can like just jump off the shipwreck, come to the the right side, and just move over to this area. Grab this this boost. Should be good. And like I said, I'm, I'm kind of coasting, but like the timers are pretty fair like you can kind of not go supersonic the whole time and totally fine here's the finish on to the plat zone so you go down this this uh pipe for the movement course we actually moved this uh starter point a little further away it used to be right here so now you can like more easily jump into it which is pretty nice let's move on to the first challenge this will be the last challenge we do or this last section we do with uh day mode we'll switch over to night mode for the next next sections good oh uh, okay we're good use a lot of boost there i'm just gonna coast a little bit uh oh i'm out <laughs> i didn't i didn't uh save too much boost there i played that pretty poorly but there we go we'll just save a little more this time Don't really need that 10. That's only 10 boosts, I believe, on that one. We're good. As long as you grab this one, it's like 40. It's good. It's good. And these walls are here, but you can mostly just like skip it. If you just do that, 
That counted, luckily. Good, there we go. And we have 25 boosts left. I'll just save it here. We have 50 seconds. Pretty chill. I mostly just want to show you guys the level, so I don't want to, like, fail by accident on uh, trivial things and try to be fast. But there we go. Let's do the movement or mechanic next. I believe this is... Yeah, this one's, like, really cool. It's just like a dribble course, sort of. You got to go over a couple hurdles. There's one ball to deal with. It's unlimited boost. Got to jump over. You can kind of do a thing where you bounce this off the wall and then sort of continue to dribble. There we go. Good to go. Two more to go. Little pop. And the last target is a little bit higher uh, off after this on these, this wall to kind of force you into a little bit higher of an air dribble. Not too much, though. Pretty comfortable pop. It's just a basic pop and air dribble. And there we go. And look how much time you have. I, I did that in 33 pretty casually and... It's 50 seconds, so if, as long as you do do it properly, do do. Uh, as long as you do it properly, uh, it should be good. This is one of the levels we fixed in the newest version. This used to not have uh, limited boost. It was it accidentally had unlimited boost. There was an option that we accidentally toggled on. There we go. Okay, save my boost here. You can actually roll this off this ramp. Oh, I don't know if I can get it. Okay, you can actually roll it off the ramp into a perfect shot, which is a really cool speedrun strat. There we go. And I don't know if you know, but if you've played this map, you might notice some of the level order is a little bit off. There's the shot right there, by the way. It's off from what it used to be. Because this is, this is the proper order that, for some reason, we messed up at some point. That was a bad touch. I would say like this one's definitely easier to uh, set up with... Oh, no. <laughs> set up with a slow catch up the wall. There we go. This should be... Like, I, I think this is honestly a really fair level. It's not that hard to set up a lot of this stuff. Just go slow on this ball. There we go. And then this one gives you 50 boost. So it's not a perfect 100. Oh, actually, no. We might have increased it to be a little more forgiving. We did. And the final one here is just uh, a smack up to the, the goal. That should be in. And there we go. I like that level. It's super, super uh, fun. That's all of the challenges in the Platinum area, and now we have the movement course. One of the coolest looking uh, movement courses. I had a couple complaints from people about it. It's a little weird with this area here with the water. We also added a couple effects underwater. You can see it's like kind of blurry, and then it gives you like a screen space thing when you come out of it. That's if you have higher, higher uh, effects. I love the look of this. And it, and it does, it's a bit of a puzzle. If you don't know where you're going, uh, there's a bit of a path you have to find. For the most part, it's self-explanatory, though. It, the boost pads here help tell you to go on the shelf. That was a really good addition from Swaggles, because otherwise people got lost a lot. And grab this thing here. You can actually just fully skip this and just go right to the finish, because there's no P at the top. And there we go. On to the diamond area. We're coming to Diamond Lake. Let's go switch it to uh, nighttime. So we'll go back here. Go up to the ship, hit that, and then we have the teleporters. As you can see, as we complete each zone, they give you the option to go back here. And there's the nighttime, super nice looking. It's just so cool. That wasn't a feature we wanted at the very beginning. We just ran out of time. All right, this is one of the hardest levels in Diamond, for sure. And I think it was actually mistakenly in Platinum. Forgot how slow that is. Okay, we're good. Let's reset. There we go. Go here down don't hit the thing no <laughs> i hit the lip as long as you take these approaches like pretty like calmly it really isn't that bad there's a better touch now you race this ball to the end it's pretty easy to beat the ball hit up the wall it should roll right up, up into the target and you can musty this but i can show you here i've done the musty quite a few times it's pretty easy but also if you want to you can just air dribble it over the back of the goal like that and then continue here with a shot towards the target. And as you can see here as well, the 37 seconds is pretty forgiving. As long as you kind of go through the level, you really shouldn't have a problem. Now on to offense. This one's uh, caught up a lot of pros. The flicks are difficult. Let's see if I can do it pretty, uh, pretty quickly here. Sub one minute is difficult on this level. And I know that for a fact because when we first had the time limit set 
We set all of them to a one minute, and I spent like a half hour trying to get sub one minute. I, I did finally get it, uh, but obviously we, we reduced it to a, or not reduced it, increased it to a minute and a half. Give a lot of, a lot of uh, choices, a lot of freedom with these, these touches. Yeah, use a lot of boost there, but hopefully I can save some. Huh. Okay, I'm resetting. Uh, that was embarrassing. I went a little too fast around that corner. You know, you can obviously save a lot of boost here too with. Just not using a lot at the start. I think speedrun strat skips one of the later shots. It allows you to just not take your time with the control. It should be a good flick. Good catch. And like I said, I kind of want to show the raw footage of me going through this whole campaign for the first time. I've never actually gone through the whole thing at once. I've only like done a couple of levels here and there, but I wanted to get my raw like first time trial. Here we go. And just see how long it takes. But I have seen all the levels, so keep that in mind. Good flick. Now we're on to the last one. We have so much time. Let's take our time here and just make sure we get it. This is a pretty difficult turn, but as long as you set it up nicely, we should be good. Oh, I failed. And that one's tripped up a lot of people because that flick, you need to get really high. If you set up wide, it should be okay. Good, got 44 boosts. Nice flick. Continue here. Woo! I almost hit the ball. That was close. Okay, we're good though. Like I said, there's so much time. You can take your time with this. Pretty good room for error. Just gonna focus up on this on this level because it is it is quite tough. Nice flick. That one isn't really like always needing to be a backflip flick, but it is It is a really cool uh, uh, set of like flicks you can do here. You see like every flick I've done is like a different flick. The only one that's like kind of similar is this last one. But this one's also like you can do a multitude of different flicks. You can also just finish it off with an air dribble, which I think I've seen a lot of people do in the speedrun mode because you get enough boost to do it. And that'll be that com level complete. Last one to do in this area is the mechanic. This one's a zero boost one. It's all about holding your jump, and I think this is the first level that really requires that. Um, you don't need even you even need to be supersonic here. You just need to set up your 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 jump timing like that. These can trip you up though if you don't get the right height on the flips. Should be good though. And this last one, I, I a lot of people got really annoyed because you have to actually like hold your jump and flip to finish it, but there we go. That's all of the mechanics, or not mechanics, challenges in the diamond area. Moving on to the movement course. This is one of the, the trickiest ones. A lot of people try to go way too fast. It's all about managing speed up these hills and sort of like not falling off the the edges. If you like hit the brakes right before you land. And a lot of people are hitting the back wall here, but you just want to do a half flip. I kind of mess it up a little bit. And I got lots of boost to work with. A couple boost pads around the corners. You can hold your supersonic for the most part. People said this is like a really fun level just for keeping boost and stuff like that. People really liked it. A couple comments that they like this better than Rocket Racing. I don't I don't I'm not gonna make any comments on that. I I think there is like a lot to be said about the mechanics of Rocket League and just using them in this in this form. Um it's a little tricky jump there, double jump. And this too, you can aim for this and not fall like that, but oh well. Now we're on the, the champ side of the the castle. Get a boost here. Sneak the corner and kind of messed up. But there's enough boost here to go over the side. If you want, or over top of both. And there we go. We were close to the timer on that one. But we're jumping down into champ's field. Now I added uh, these rock walls here. Because there's a bit of an issue with the, the, the volume switching to Diamond Lake. Uh, so I kind of just try to deter players from going up there. A little bit of uh, game development uh, background. That's why I put it here so you can kind of like only get to Diamond Lake if you kind of put your 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 camera here and it changes the, the background, but it doesn't get rid of this. Because you can see here, if I fly up here, when you're, when you're in the diamond area, it won't actually show the levels for this area. It'll only show the levels for the diamond area. So we weren't really happy with that. Also, a new change we made, which I'm super happy about, is right here. It actually opens up 
uh, the gates to Diamond uh, right here. And when we beat the Champs Field area, it'll also open up the gate on the other side. And there it is over there. So it's, I like that idea. That's like super clean. It's just fun to uh, give more movement options because all the areas have blockers around it. So you can't really just like easily get to the areas. Um, yeah, so that, that's sort of a, a problem with making it like a challenge map where you have to go through each zone. But let's move on to the mechanics here in Champ and uh, see if we can beat it in the first try. Probably not. This one's a pretty tough one. We do have a limited boost. Let's see. Good touch. I might have missed. No. Uh, I hit the, the, the bottom and top of the post. There we go. Should be it. Now, this one tripped up a lot of people, but I believe if you just smack this ball super hard, it should basically hit the top. There we go. And that should just hit it. Not overly complicated. There are different ways you can do that, like a, with a pinch and stuff. This one's a tough one. Should be good, though, if I can score it. I think I missed. I did get the double, but I just didn't go towards target. Nice and chill. There we go. Try this one again. Smacking it straight down the middle. It should just pick up the, the P. Now this one's tough. Here we go. Try it again. All about that first touch. No! I missed it just barely. Okay, we're getting it though. I think the double touch is pretty easy for me now after trying this level quite a bit. Uh, and like and running through it and testing it especially with the unlimited boost there we go and the final double touch there it is just score it don't miss I missed no One of my favorite levels in Champ, though, it, it is super, like, it's super satisfying once you hit them properly. Thought I didn't get it there. It was close. Almost didn't hit the ball hard enough. All right. Come on. Focus up. There we go. Best to save your flip here so you can just pop back up. That can trip you up at the very end, which is kind of why I put it there. Just a little bit of a troll in case you fall towards the water and can't recover. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a little evil. Let's let's try this next one. All right, this is a saves level. This one's pretty tough. Definitely the hardest save by far. I mean, that makes sense. But, like, it's definitely a big step up. Also, with, with these saves levels, a lot of these are, like, uh, kind of shots as well. Because I kind of wanted the, like, you could just, we could just detect it that you didn't, like, let the ball in the goal and after a timer just leap the ball. But I kind of wanted these to be, like, teaching you how to, like, clear to a direct location as well after doing them or after the clears. So I wanted this to be more than just saving the ball. I wanted it to be, like, yeah, you save it, but then also um, you still have to, like, direct your, your saves. Which is good. It's, like... You want to focus on things after the save, not just not just hitting the save. You want to focus on where you're placing it. Because a lot of the problems of Rocket League is you will try to save the ball, and then your clear is bad. So I think just focusing on, on the idea of clearing the ball well into a target zone is really, really good mentality to have for saves in Rocket League. Um, I really think we like kind of like hit as many concepts as we could in one map. It's kind of insane. I might have missed. I missed. Yeah. I We did our best to hit everything we could. There's musties. There's so many things you can do. The secret level even has some musty flicks if you... Sorry, did I say secret level? Ignore me. Yeah, there's a secret level. Maybe I'll show it at the very end. Uh, you can also just chip shot that. I don't know why it went so slow. It's a little nerve-wracking in speedrun mode, though, if you try to shoot those. There's also one level you can skip in this one. I put a ceiling piece here, so you have to keep the ball low. You don't just air dribble it. Keep it nice and controlled. We have another chip shot at the top here. Like that. It's kind of what you want to do and then move your way down. 
once again, the levels have a pretty flexible time limit. So I'm just going to take my time with setting this ball up. Don't have to do it again. And there we go. So that is all of the zones in Champ. Now we just got to do the movement course. Really like this one. Super clean. Swaggles did an amazing job with all of these. They're super fun. And like, it's really hard to make good feeling movement courses in Rocket League because there's not a lot, whole lot you can do with the mechanics of the car. Like there is like holding your jump and stuff like that. And we try to really utilize a lot of that and just managing speed with a little bit, little bit of boost. We were going to do the boosters being like the regular yellow boosters we did throughout the whole map, but I really suggested we do the boost pads. I think it was a great choice just to separate the challenge levels from the movement courses. And all of these boost pads give you 20, which is not the usual amount for Rocket League, obviously. But I think that makes a lot more sense rather than spreading out more boost pads. Like having to collect this one boost pad is super, super exciting rather than like like getting two of them or something. I don't know. Like that's kind of my idea anyway. But pretty free level here. Only only three seconds to spare though. So I was a little bit careless with how much I uh, I did. Oh, here's it animating down, by the way. And now we can freely go through. I love it. I think that's a super cool addition. There's a lot more freedom to go between levels. The only one that doesn't have great movement between them is Diamond and Platinum because of the pipe system. I was maybe thinking at some point we could add like something that lets you go over to over top like through like a gate or like a, a bridge. Let's go into the mechanics here though. Another zero boost, but you get 33 at the beginning. And it's very, very important that you save this uh, to make it easier on yourself later. It's all about boost management, kind of only using what you need to whenever you do need it. But for the most part, uh, this level was originally designed with zero boost in mind. And we decided to let the players keep 33 because originally you're supposed to go to that wall, but you can use a little bit of boost here to land here. And I probably should have jumped off that, but we're good. I had to flip like that. It's unfortunate. I just used boost by accident. Um, I was going to hit the, the, the ring. So I decided to try and backflip my way through, but I tilted my car a little bit, which ended up making me miss. But yeah, there's definitely really, really cool ways you can uh, speed run this level. Like, there's things you can skip. I'm sure that they already have, like, quite a few different paths in mind. And uh, I believe the fastest time, maybe not validated yet, uh, was, like, 20-ish minutes on the whole thing. Honestly, like, so far, we've had a pretty good pace of the levels. But I can imagine that after, uh, you know, changing your path to, like, only get... F I just missed the P. Changing your path to only get four, like that would have been fine. Uh, but I don't even know which one I would skip. Because this level is kind of, you're kind of needing to go through all of them. Maybe the middle one is like the only one worth skipping. I'm sure there's like paths you could take to ignore it with like the boost and go to the wall, maybe to the next platform. Oh, you know what? It's probably the one that's on the top of the, um, the walls. Probably the one they skip, I would imagine. This one here? Yeah, definitely. I think that's definitely the one you skip. I almost tried to skip it right there because I forgot that I'm not in speedrun mode. I did it again. I did it again. <laughs> oh, it's embarrassing. I mean, it's not that embarrassing. People like were stuck on this for like an hour. So I feel like this is fine. I just, I hold myself to a pretty high standard with these things because I've built them and tested them quite a, quite a bit. I didn't flip this time. It should be okay. Just use like 10, 12 boost. Honestly, I didn't test the levels too much. I only tested them like, I don't know, like 10 times each throughout the levels just like to test it out. I've done so many maps nowadays that I kind of know the scale of like what a map will look like. And because we did a Marvel's Progressive last year, I had a pretty good feeling of the f like the feel of the map and like what would work and what wouldn't. And it was all about just like honing in the amount of boost. So what we did was we went through every level and anywhere where we thought we needed to put boost, we put one of these. And then I went through and had them all give 100. And then whenever uh, I felt like it was way too much or way too f forgiving, um, I reduced it. So even that one was probably like way too much. Both, both those gave 100, but I just wanted to, like, to give people like the option to, you know, not fail the air dribble and take their time with it. Um, this level is probably one of the more forgiving levels for boost. Like this gives a lot too. That's the last amount of boost you get. There's actually a normal path here, but there's also a secret path you can take right here, which if I remember where it is, right here, yep. Uh, uh, no. Okay, well, I tried the secret path. 
So you can go down there and then go across the cut. Uh, super cool. Oh, I forgot I need the ball. Yep. Those targets are like rings that you need to follow, uh, follow through with. Uh, it's, it's, it's a good like notification of something you need to still hit, but keep the ball going afterwards. Players seem to get used to it pretty quickly. It's kind of sensory overload. There's a lot of information uh, with going through this map for the first time. There we go. I'm going to do the cut again, but you can take that path up there and uh, go the normal way. Come down here. There. Uh, no, I missed the path. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to go the normal way. <laughs> Speedruns will definitely use that other way, though, I believe. There we go. I think also people tend to skip this control on the speedrun, which is an interesting choice. They like just decide to leave the ball. I guess it makes sense because it's probably one of the slowest catches in this level. It's a nice touch here. Ball with three. Yeah, because I feel like this one's an easier setup. It's a straightaway. I say that and then I almost mess up. Ugh. All good. 51 seconds. Surely I get this. Should be okay. I think a lot of people actually skipped like right here. Yeah, down here. And then get this P right here. Nice, we did it. A little scuffed. Probably the most scuffed run so far. We'll go to saves here. We're on to 130. This should be 135 at the end. And then we have to do the movement course up to SSL. SSL zone has caused a lot of frustrations for people. But, you know, it is SSL. And SSL is frustrating. Take your time with this. You can take a shot if you want. Air drill pop, whatever you want to do. This level's pretty forgiving for time, too. I see a lot of people try to half volley this. You can control it. It is uh, totally optional how you want to handle this level. Should be good. Good control there. Like I said, I'm not like go I'm kind of coasting. I'm not going as fast as I would would go in a speeder mode. Like this is I'm just showing how I went through the levels in like a way that is pretty fair. Like I didn't like go through like this like zooming through the whole thing and trying to make this like as impossible as, as possible. Uh, so this one's just like a simple little pop. I trolled. Okay, well, it is a simple pop. I just went in the wrong direction a little bit. I think there's actually a speedrun mode. Uh, this is a speedrun option as well. I don't think I've seen anybody do it, but we added this uh, this glass here to allow for you to pop it over and hit the target. It is very difficult though, so I doubt many people are gonna choose it. <laughs> you have to like perfectly pop it up, and like you kind of want to like jump into it like that. But yes, yeah, it's not very consistent, so I don't I don't think people are probably gonna use it, especially this this deep into the speed run if they have a good run going. To be good. I believe this one gives you 100 anyway, so totally chill. Uh, okay, not the greatest setup here. I think I'm going to miss. Yeah, that was, that, was, that was a close try, though, after that horrible touch. This is actually a harder ball to catch than you think it is because it's so fast. We should be good. Once again, this gives 100, so we can just kind of chill, use however much boost we want. Come in here, catch this ball. Hope that's high enough. It is. Low boost here, but we don't need too much on this parkour, so we should be good. Especially because this one gives 100, I believe. Right here. Good. Now we just got to get this air dribble pop, or like a little, little uh, dribble pop. They go nice and slow here. There we go. Control this. Bit of a slalom course. Kind of dropped it. I got to get this back on my car somehow. So I got to figure out how to do that. I'm going to probably like grab it. Look how much time I have. 115. It's going to take my time here. And there we go. Okay, that was a bit of a troll end, but didn't want to have to redo that again and add an extra minute to the video. I'm trying to keep this as efficient as possible. Uh, but let's go down to the movement course. This one tripped up a lot of people too. I think the biggest thing is just saving a lot of boost at the start. So I'm not going to use any here. Just flip down to this, this boost pad. I love this addition. I like asked Swaggles to put this Moai jump here. I think it's really clean. You can save your flip and maybe wave dash. There we go, get this P. And the key thing here is to almost have 100 when you get to this rings course. Because each ring only gives you like about 35, 33. I can't remember. I think it's 35. And uh, it can be very unforgiving if you run out. 
Oh, this is cool at night. This is the first time seeing the night uh, the night rings course for GC. I like this much better. I think night mode is just a nice change. I've been used to like testing this map for like hours on uh, upon hours in uh, day mode. So to see it in in night mode, is super cool. Got lots of boost. Uh, at the end, the rings get smaller, but you don't actually need them all. If you save enough boost, you should be good. You see, SSL zone is kind of appearing now in space. There's a P here at the end. I'm going to go for the P and then just avoid the last couple rings just because you don't need them. And now we're up in the SSL zone. Shattered Skyland, the final final area. So we have all of these zones unlocked. We're going to go for saves here first. People had a tough time with this one. It is a bit of a parkour challenge with a slow rolling, rolling ball. It's all about making sure you save a good amount of boost on your approach so you have enough for later. Go to the wall here, wave dash, go to this, flip to the side, use a bit of boost to catch up, go wide, go for a chip on this. You can see the uh, the effect on the, all the metal now is white. Super clean. Come down here, get this, try to save my boost if I can. Good. I'm pretty sure this one gives you 100 boost down here, so I'm going to take my time. And we gotta, really got to set up this double. I didn't get it. Uh, okay, try that again. Uh-oh. That wave dash fail might be enough to make this not possible. We can see, though. Have good speed. Never mind, we're good. Jump off this. You can go like this too to go a little faster. Good. I got a lot more boost here on this one. I didn't use my flip that time, but there's different ways you can do it. You can approach it differently every time. I got a little more boost this time to like kind of control myself. And the closer I can pop this ball, the better. It didn't count. Dang it. I kind of want to like set up a little bit of speed before even touching the platform. So that way I don't need to worry about the ball spawning too early. Yeah, this is why this one caught a lot of people off guard. The SSL defense is a bit of an interesting challenge. I actually really like it. This slow rolling ball is an interesting concept. It's like basically like a recovery uh, check. Which I think is really cool. It's a different kind of vibe. All the other shots have been kind of like fast saving. It's a, it's a good contrast to the end when you're in SSL that it's actually a slow ball. I think people might have expected that it was going to be even harder like shots that are coming at you. But it's actually like just like straight up recoveries. GC is kind of the hardest set of like levels that uh, like push you mechanically. There we go, and then we just finish it. Beautiful. We were close to the time limit. We got it. Let's do SSL shots here. Offense. This is unlimited boost. It's all about catching on the ceiling, getting a shot, going for a double touch sidewall thing. Bad touch. You want to like soften this with your wheels into the ceiling like this and then sort of set this up into an air dribble afterwards. I didn't get underneath the ball enough, so it's not going to be good. It's funny. Sometimes I have more trouble with this one, even though it's like honestly probably the easiest one of the, the, the three. It's like a roadblock for me. I messed up. Yeah, I don't know why. Like I, I know the other ones are more difficult. Like they are by far like way more difficult, but for some reason I get tripped up because I'm so focused on like how I'm going to do the next ones. Like that's a perfect setup here. There we go. Not the greatest recovery, but we're good. Can I first time this? Let's see. Might be able to. I'm like trolling on my air roll though. All right, I did do it. I was going to set this up. I have 39 seconds. We're good. You're kidding. 
I'm getting stressed out because I have a tournament to play in like 20 minutes and I, 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 I don't know. It's a mental block. I need to get through this. I can surely get through it. I right, set this up. <laughs> Come on. You know, I forgot that I can actually save if I need to. So I really don't need to worry that much. I needed to not st not stress. I was like, I need to finish this. But I was like, wait, no, this map saves our progress. That's the whole kind of the whole point. Which is a really nice feature. It requires a lot of uh, that required a lot of knowledge of like how Bacchus mod works and map expansion. And maybe get this off the double. There we go. Come on. Surely I get it this time. Take my time. The land on the wall. Don't worry about it. Scuffed, scuffed, uh, scuffed around here, but this might be the one. No! I failed in the water. Last try. Good. Oh, I'm getting a message. No. All right. I got to save here, but hopefully we can get it back once we uh, return. That's the cool thing about this map. You can save your progress and come back to it. We'll be right back. Two hours later. All right. And just like that, we're back. Loading back into the map. This should have saved our progress. Here it is. Let's see. So far, it's not loaded, but the second the map loads, there it is. All the teleporters are good. And, uh... We're good to go. So let's go back into SSL. I think I'm gonna switch it over to mechanic for a second, and we should be able to get a pretty quick run of this one. I don't think it's gonna be too bad. You just gotta focus on your ceiling catch. I'm gonna go through here and hold on to my boost. And uh, it's a little bit evil, uh, but at the end here, you wanna save uh, your boost at the very, very end of the course. A little bit mean, but it's uh, I kinda like it. We'll do a flip here, stay vertical. And you have to use your flip off the ceiling to get enough boost to go across. There we go. And then a flip. That should be enough to get over this and save some. Ooh, we needed to keep a little bit of boost at the end, 47 seconds. Gotta be a little bit careful with the, the landing recovery. 43 seconds. Do I get it? No, I don't. I had to go right away. I had to go right away because I, I clipped and that slowed me down. 47 seconds. You got to be very, very careful with your timing. I do like how tight the SSL levels are. I'd say like the, the levels feel pretty fair. Even with the tight timing. This should be ceiling here. Flip. Ceiling back up into the wall here. Perfect. We have way more boost this time, which should allow us to climb over. And now with 30 boosts, pretty trivial as long as we don't miss the uh, this. It's basically like a, a stationary ball aerial at the very end here, which is harder than it seems for for some reason. I don't know why, but there it is. We got the five Ps. We're literally missing one, and it is this level. We took a bit of time to do this, but obviously we had to save and come back. So hopefully with a fresh mind, we should be good. There we go, first touch. Already feel good after not touching the level for a little while. I think it's, once you touch it for way too long, it's like you get in a rut. Oh, but that's not good. You get in a rut of doing the same thing over and over again and just starting to become very uncomfortable with your fingers, like fatigue. There's a double. I missed, but we did get the double off the side. So I feel pretty good already. I don't think I get this. Nope. Definitely the hardest level in the entire map. That's for good reason though. It requires a lot of mechanics, a lot of control. But whenever I do this level and like, I just feel good. Like I just feel good going through it. I felt good earlier. Feels good again. It feels rewarding. 
I, a little too low on that one. Okay, slow start. I'm on the second bounce here. There we go. Cut around. Finish the double into the catch, and that's the last thing. All we need to do is just catch this ball properly. I think we sniped it. There it is. Perfect. Five seconds to spare-ish. Four or five seconds. We have 155p. All we got to do now, as you look down here, you can see a lot of things are, like, missing when you're up here. It's because we have to, like, optimize the map to not have too many objects at once. Um, but the last one, the movement course, to celebrate the entire map finished our sample collection. This is kind of a cool little story wrap around here on the lore where we're collecting samples from each of the zones. So as we go around the course here, you're going to see that each of the zones kind of, we've kind of taken some of the stuff from each zone. I'm going to go through here and try not to fail. Almost ran out of boost, but we should be good. All right, moving on through. That's the first P. And there's another P, I believe, in the plat zone, in the middle of the pipes. You have a lot of time to finish this. I have two minutes on the clock. Um, you don't even need to use these last two rings, by the way. The speedrun people don't use them because you already have like a lot of boost. You got to be careful with how you jump off of these platforms. And I forgot how small that ring is, but we should be good. Ooh, okay. A little tough. Cause I didn't remember that ring was so small. We should be good, though. I only get one boost here. I'm going to land a little awkwardly, but I don't want to waste boost. So that's it's better I do that and then just save my boost for this path. There we go, around the corner. I've had mixed reviews from people on this level. I really like it, I think. It's super clean. Uh, you land here is the best spot, obviously, because of the P. Flip to the mushroom. Maybe flip to this rock. Uh, yep. And I failed. Okay, we're going to try that again. That That's definitely the hardest part. You need to make sure you have a lot of boost. And I just wasted so much boost on the course. As long as I don't do that and don't bot out, we should be good. Don't die in the lava. That would be very embarrassing. Which, speaking of lava, there is another area that has lava. Not the one in the silver zone. Um, some people have already found it. Chief Beef was the definitely the first one to find it. And we have a little thing in the area to celebrate Chief Beef uh, locating and completing the Easter eggs. Um, super cool little thing to commemorate his run. Uh, listen, I don't know what's happening either. Don't worry about it. You need all of these boosts. Okay, that was a little that was a little scary. We do got to be careful though, because it two minutes is not like a lot of leeway. There we go. Let's come in here. Just save our boost around the corner. Much better this time. Pull up on our stick. Go through here. One final turnaround. You don't need to get all these boosts. You can cut it, though. They're a bit tight. You can fall, though, and then just use this. It's really hard to go through all those. It's a speedrun uh, strat. And there we go. Don't, don't need the last boost. And there's the finish. Here we are going into our ship. Technically going into our ship. Bye-bye. <laughs> All the P collected to fuel our, our ship up, and uh, we go back to space. I'm still following. Kind of adds like a little bit of a nice noise, but we're back in the LSS Progress ship. Now, our mission report is a success. The mission start, don't worry about that. It kind of broke, uh, but in the final version, we'll definitely fix it. There's our Explorer rank. We're now SSL. I finally fell. I think I just fell into the bronze area. Um, number of fails, 45. Not bad. Number of samples, all 160. Didn't find the temple. There's lots of uh, secret things. I don't want to uh, give too much away, but I will show where the temple is. So our ship is returning back home. Down it goes. Closing up. And we're done. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. Super, super cool. Thanks for playing. Thanks for watching. 
if you want to give it up for uh, try for yourself there's so much more to do there's so many more secrets uh speed run mode hardcore mode uh lots to do we put a lot of effort into this one uh yeah super super cool i think it's gonna fade out and then just probably kick us yeah if i jump it should just like kick us out it says you've collected enough peas to power your ship and return home you now have the option to return to the island anytime and practice the levels or clear your scores and try again from scratch when you hit jump it kicks you out of the map but you can go back in and do whatever you want hope you guys enjoyed um let me just go show one little thing all right i don't want to give too much away my map should load up here there we go i don't want to give too much away but of course we had to hide a secret in the waterfall you know how it goes Let's head down here real quick into the mouth of the moai and we have a secret temple wonder what it could be there's three pedestals per spot maybe in a future video i'll share what this does but uh, until then happy exploring lots of secrets like i said lots of fun stuff until next time have a great day guys and i'll catch you guys in the next one